All right, this might be the quickest one yet. So this one's gonna be covered. <clears throat> All right, this might be the quickest video yet. So we're gonna be talking about quick masking. And as the name would suggest, quick masking is just an efficient way of isolating a certain area that you either do or don't wanna paint on in a given situation. So let's say I wanted to paint some different colors on my little ball man here, and I just wanted to paint them directly on him. But I don't wanna paint on this a uh, heart icon in the on in the belly button there. So in order to access our quick menu, our quick masking menu, I just need to hit the Y key as in Yellowstone National Park, and you'll see that it changes its look. So it's now a polygon checkerboard looking thing on the character, and I'm given this other brush now that I have separate controls for. I can make a white or black, and I'm just going to use this to just isolate out just that individual, just that little bump here in the middle. Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again. And you can see I'm erasing it by painting it white um, versus painting it black. All right, cool. So now that I have that, what I can do is hit the U as in underwear key, and now I can start painting on this. You'll see that that appears black and I can paint, you know, different colors. Um, I can do different effects on it. And it doesn't it influence what's going on underneath there. And so that after I'm done doing all of my different painting and different variations on there, all I have to do to undo that is hit the Y key again, and you can see that that goes away. So it's a useful function for uh, making some quick masks that are only temporary, that you haven't set up prior to importing into Painter as, a, uh, as another option for your masking needs.